Hi everyone, this is Lily Rose. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I am a psychic medium from birth and I am also a channel for Twin Flames and I will be doing a card reading for the Twin Flame Collective. If you are watching this video, there are no coincidences. You're supposed to be here watching this video, okay? So there's a message in here for you, whether or not you are a twin, okay guys? All right, so um, I'm going to shuffle this deck. And we might get some angel numbers, we might get some names, we might get some other signs, synchronicities. For some people, I'm seeing like this cherry. And I'm seeing a piece of cake. All right. So shout out to all the Scorpios and birthday season. Okay. Oh my God, look at that. Queen of Swords just flying out, out of the park. And then we have a Two of Cups as well. Okay. All right. All right, Spirit. So... I wasn't ready to like pull the cards yet. I was just shuffling, but they jumped out. So we'll take them. Uh, Queen of Swords is like, um, it's like the, your person's energy is all about like thinking, thinking, thinking. They're thinking about how to put their boundaries down, how to put their foot down with some things that they're not happy about and how to like tell you how to love them. So the main thing that I'm getting from your person is like, they're not happy about something that you did or something that you said, right? And they want to show you that they're not happy and they want to show you that they want something else or they want something more and they're going to show you in a kind of like passive aggressive way and sometimes your person like i think your person most of the time they really have a they try to have control over their life and control over their emotions a lot and they don't they don't um slip up they don't show their true feelings a lot right and only when you like really trigger and trigger them they show their emotions and i feel like your person was triggered and they they're starting to show their emotions with you now and um i feel like they want this love with you they want this perfect moment they want this this couple this relationship they want to be in this divine feminine energy they want you guys to come closer and closer and it just feels like they have a strategy to get there and the the strategy is like you need to know what you're doing wrong so that we could get to this place so this is what i feel is going on with your person here they're not happy about something and they're trying to teach you how to get in alignment all right so this is funny i was talking about this to um one of my uh clients and we were saying like some of the DMs, they think that there's nothing wrong with them. And some of the DFs, they think that there's nothing wrong with them. Okay. And then the two of you are just like pointing your fingers at each other. Oh my God, something's wrong with you. And the other person is saying, oh my God, something's wrong with you. Who do you think you are? So the two people see nothing wrong with them, which is crazy. So if there's a third person looking on, which is usually the comics or something, right? They'd be like, ah, sorry to say, but something is wrong with you. And they're telling that to each partner, right? So there's definitely work to be done on both ends. This is what I'm seeing. Long story short, there's always work to be done on both ends. And maybe that work might not be like hashing out trauma for, for 100 years or like doing shadow work for 10,000 years. It could also be work on manifestation and mirror, mirroring, okay? And um, a podcast is, going, is coming out with Amy Benson. So do check out her website. I'll put in the links below. That's one of my, um, really good soul sisters. And, um, we talk about manifestation through the twin flame journey and also just general manifestation for even those who are not twins and how to, um, some cool techniques on there. So do check out that podcast. It's going to be on Spotify very soon and I'll put it on YouTube as well. So do look out for that. So the message that I'm getting is that if you want to be with this person and it feels like this person wants to be with you you guys have to stop pointing fingers and try to find a method that works keep the peace as much as possible and realize like it's not the other person it's actually me if this person is acting this way then maybe i maybe i manifested it right all right okay so let's continue what else is going on with your person <laughs> What else is happening for your person? Okay, we got a two of swords in reverse. Your person is trying to make a decision. So we have two of cups, two of swords. Oh my gosh. 
So the feeling like being pulled between two options here. The person is being pulled between top two options and they have made a choice about who they want. Like the choice is like as clear as day. Okay. Your person knows who they want. And <laughs> some people like I'm hearing, like I'm hearing spirits say, I want the two. I want the two. Yeah. But your person knows who they want. Yes, they want the two, but the greater, the greater, um, desire outweighs the smaller desire you see the greater desire is that your person wants you that's the greater desire the greatest intention outweighs the lower intention and what i mean by that is like the frequency of the intention or the intensity of the intention the, if the intention has a small frequency or a small vibration the bigger vibrational intention intention is going to outweigh that one okay so Whatever your heart desires is going to outweigh everything else. And your heart desires this person. This is what it's saying here. Okay. So there's some food for thought here. Okay. There's some, some food for thought. All right. Let's see. Okay. We got the moon. Your person is afraid. Your person is afraid. You know why? Because they know what they want. They know they want you, but they're like, oh my God, if I get together with this person, then they'll have to know everything or they'll get to know my greatest secret that I haven't told them yet. And they won't love me anymore. And, and they'll realize that I'm just trash or they'll realize like I'm, I'm beneath them or I'm not worthy of them. Or they'll realize that I've been to this place or I've been done this illegal thing or, you know, you just put your expert, you know, your superlatives here. Your person is worried about a secret that they kept from you apparently they kept it from you okay why did i say apparently it's because if this person is your divine feminine or your divine masculine can i just say there ain't no secrets okay there ain't no secrets there's none your person already had a dream about this secret your person already had an intuition about this secret your person already got the download about this secret they know everything about you okay spirit already warned them they already know what baggage you carry and they still love you. They still want you. They still want to hash this out with you. Whether it's in the 5D, whether it's in 3D, the connection is there. It's not going anywhere. Like you, you can't even run from this. So where are you going? Are you trying to hide from yourself? Good luck. Your shadow will always find you. Okay. Whether When the sun shines, what happens to your shadow? Does it just disappear? Does your shadow disappear when the sun shines? No. All right. Okay. So let us get some messages from your person and let's see if we get some angel numbers and names in here. All right. Let's see, see. So the general vibe that I'm getting this week, because I have a lot of twins in consultation and stuff. And the general vibe is basically that you guys are coming closer and closer and closer. Can I say that again? Um, the synchronicities are getting more and more intense. And I feel like for a lot of people, a lot of twins, la, um, it's getting so intense that some of them are trying to run from this. It's getting so intense that they're wanting, oh my God, this is destabilizing. Maybe I need to hang on to something. Like, So they're hanging on for their life to some sort of tree or some sort of stable situation thinking, if I don't, I might just lose my footing. Okay, And who could blame them, right? Because everybody wants security. Everybody wants something that they can control. But your person knows that this is not going to happen. It's like they could try. So if your person has not been in communication, they have um, like stepped back a little bit, a little bit, just leave them, let them be because they need to experience that time away from you to realize like, no, this is BS. I need to be with this person. Okay. So let's see what else is going on. All right, spirit, give us a message from your person. And I want to give a shout out to uh, a lot of people who have been supporting this channel. Uh, a lot of my clients, a lot of like um, soul sisters, soul family, um, people who have been like um, uh, the muse, people who have been supportive. Oh my God, create of swords again. And um, I want to give a shout out to a lot of, you know, a lot of the DMs who have been watching this channel and 
you know, they're just watching to see, oh my God, what is the tendency with my person? They're always thinking like, um, that they're not as obsessed and, and as in love as, as the DF, but they are. And, um, they're always like spying on you, you know? So this is something that the DMs do and they're keeping tabs. Sometimes they keep tabs to keep you safe. And sometimes they keep tabs for curiosity and to figure out if they can trust you. So if your DM is spying on you, these are some of the reasons, okay? And I said, if he's spying on you, I'm basically saying your DM is spying on you, okay? <laughs> All right, so Queen of Swords coming in here with a Queen of Cups in reverse. So we have two sides to the same coin, which means like a person feels like sometimes they have to be strategic and sometimes they have to kind of like, like hide their emotions when it comes to you because they don't feel comfortable. They feel like you will just um, break their heart over and over again. And because you trigger them so much without even knowing it, like you have already broken their heart. Like you might not know that you have done this, but because of some of the things that you said that you didn't know was of importance to this person, you have broken their heart, okay? So this is why they're being this way. They're being very strategic. They're being very... Um, like a covert narcissistic type and they're in their divine feminine energy here. And so they're saying, look, I love you, but I might have to keep you at a distance. Okay. So let's see what else. Mm -hmm. Ace of cups. So the love is real in this relationship. Your person really does treasure you and they're thinking about, um, I'm hearing that sound like, like they, they don't even know how they could live without you. So they're wondering, they're wondering, okay, I have no idea what to do next. I'm hearing that like your person doesn't know what to, what to do next. So they might be like, um, taking some time to think. And remember I said in the beginning here, just let them think because there's, there's a few things that they need to tell you and they don't know how to tell you. It's going to get, it's going to get there. We have an eight of this in reverse. So your person is like, mm, taking care of their health. Because I'm mm, I'm getting throat a lot, throat chakra. Taking care of their health. They have a, a thing with their throat. And they also have like um, some health issues. And some breathing issues with the queen of the skin reverse. Uh, this is going to, they're hoping that you can send them some healing energy as well. Uh, it's tied in also with like some money issues. So your person needs a lot of rest and a lot of healing okay so this is what i feel they need from you most this week and they want to remind you that they do love you but you know they're in this moment where they're feeling not the best not their best and they're feeling a little bit paranoid okay um another thing about dms is like they get these dreams or they get like um synchronicities where they feel it like it plays out so what I mean by that is, is like, for example, if they're paranoid and they're thinking you are just a cheater, then they're going to see like people cheating everywhere or something like that. So whatever it is, they, they're thinking it starts, it starts to manifest out into their world. So this is what I'm saying, where twins supposed to be manifesting positive things instead of manifesting negative things. And I feel like a person here is like manifesting some um, negative things because they have these secrets that they don't want you to find out about and they think it's so bad um, that they're manifesting these negative things as a form of self-sabotage, okay? All right, well, let me know what's going on in the comments for you guys. I'm going to pull some cards from Spirit just to see what we should focus on this week when it comes to the Twin Flame journey. All right, so let's see. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. Trust yourself. <laughs> uh, this is really interesting. A really interesting card with all these animals. We see this like um, tiger, this monkey, these... Uh, the the yeah the pecan and a lot of like birds and lizards and stuff like that okay 
So what I'm feeling here is like there's a lot of animal energy around you of stability. This is for the DF. And you're connecting with your animals more and more, okay? Even connecting with nature more and more. And so you're grounding yourself. Because number four is all about stability, okay? And Spirit is saying, trust yourself enough to know that you can manifest what you need and want in this life. Trust yourself and trust the universe enough to know that everything is going to work out in your favor for the greatest good of all involved. And this is one phrase I like to say. Are we doing this for the greatest good of all involved? Okay, so we're making sure that when we manifest, we're going to add that sentence to what we are, um, we're wanting to manifest. Okay, what else? Sprint? Sacred fool. Okay, so the sacred fool is someone who is protected by spirit. Okay, so there's a saying, um, I think it's, yeah, it's in the Bible. Anyway, I've heard it many times. It says, God helps those who protect them. God helps those who help themselves. And that God helps, um, protects the fools, the fools of this universe. Um, it's nothing to be, um, like to downgrade anybody or say this person is a fool or whatever. It's like, you know, they say a fool in love, right? So you could be fooled, but because of the energies that you feel for someone. But spirit is basically saying you are divinely protected, even though sometimes you feel like a fool around this person. It is okay. It is okay. Number four, again, you are protected. Nothing will happen to you. Everything will be fine. All is well. All right. Okay, let's see if we get some angel numbers for this here today. Nine, five, six, three. Nine, five, six, three is the angel number. And um, I'm going to see if I get some names here. Okay. Cherise. Mm -hmm. Jessica. Lionel. I'm getting Mark. I'm getting... This is... um. I think... It's, anyway, the person's name is China. All right. Uh, I'm also getting... Marianne, Marianne, yeah, and J, J A Y, J. Okay, all right, so these are the names for today, and we have the angel number as well. So do focus on knowing that everything will be fine and then trusting the universe and trusting yourself, and all is well. So I'm gonna leave it here for today. Do like, subscribe, hit that notification bell for me, and I'll read you more of these. Have a night.